nice good <coughs> day for all of us because the weather is very good today and uh, I thank all the people over here who assembled for this Epicon 2022. So, this is the last day of our program, but still now a lot of people are present in the different halls and scientific sessions are in full swing. Now, regarding reversible dementia, it is very important to remember that as soon as we stamp a particular person with dementia, we think that it is not a treatable condition. But we must have to remember, though the maximum chunk of disease burden is due to degenerative disorders, where we have got a little options to treat, but around 14 percent of the people have got reversible causes in which if you can intervene in right time, probably the patient will get the maximum benefit and he or she will not be going into a downhill course and will lead a normal life. By definition, the dementia is a condition where the main important part is the affection of the memory deficit. Along with these things, if the person gets some difficulty in her attention, language, executive and social functions, all these things will take into consideration and at the same time, if the previous activities have is going down to a great extent which interferes with the normal activities of daily living then and then we can stamp it to be a case of dementia. Of course, we will have to remember then you will have to exclude the delirium at that point of time because you should not diagnose a case of delirium I mean dementia in presence of delirium. Now, most important causes of reversible dementia are your different types of vitamin deficiencies like vitamin B1, vitamin 3, vitamin B12 along with some infections which is prevalent in our country. HIV diseases, some autoimmune disorders and never forget about the thyroid disease where the hypothyroid may be one of the important cause. Beside these things the trauma like your subdural hematoma or a normal pressure hydrocephalus and some autoimmune disease disorders which are very important to consider for reversible causes. And we have also got some drugs which are very important to remember because use of indiscriminate use of some drugs like tricycling antidepressants or long acting benzodiazepines, atropines and antimuscarines so on and so forth and different toxic agents like your mercury, bismuth, lead etcetera should be kept in mind. So, if you just remember that some causes are treatable especially in some challenging situation like normal pressure hydrocephalus, if you can intervene in time with surgical options probably the patient will be given the best of the benefit. Now, before you stamp a case of dementia with no return, please try to exclude the common treatable causes of dementia which are reversible and which can give us a very good quality of life for the patients. Thank you very much.